Welcome to the Basics series. One of the most fundamental concepts in electronics is the decibel, as well as other areas. It's a logarithmic measurement form that yields numbers that can span very small values to very large values. It also replaces multiplication with addition. The decibel cannot be understood without knowing the basic rules of exponents and logarithms. You are probably familiar with these, but it may serve as a good review. The exponent of a number says how many times to use the number in a multiplication. For instance, 10 with the exponent 4, which is called 10 to the 4th power, is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10,000. Notice it has four zeros. 10 to the 3rd power is 10 times 10 times 10, which equals 1,000. 10 to the 2nd power, or 10 squared, is 10 times 10, which equals 100. 10 raised to the power of 1 is just 10. 10 to the 0 power is just 1. Any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. I'll explain that later. The logarithm is how many of one number multiply together to make another number. The base 10 log function is the inverse of 10 to the x power. So the log base 10 of 10,000 is 4. Note again the four zeros. The log base 10 of 1,000 is 3. The log base 10 of 100 is 2. The log base 10 of 10 is 1. And the log base 10 of 1 is 0. The log function with no base is presumed to be base 10. If I use logarithms in calculations, engineers must deal with numbers that can be very large or very small. The logarithm transforms very large or very small numbers into more manageable numbers. Here is an example of the log of a small number and an example of the log of a large number. You must understand the exponent and logarithm rules. First is the exponent product rule. It states that a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m plus n. Let's say m is 2 and n is 3. That equals 10 to the fifth. 10 squared is 100 and 10 to the third is 1,000. 100 times 1,000 equals 100,000 or 10 to the fifth. Next is the exponent quotient rule. It states that a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m minus n. Let's say m is 5 and n is 2. That equals 10 to the third. 10 to the fifth is 100,000 and 10 squared is 100. 100,000 divided by 100 is 1,000 or 10 to the third. The zero exponent rule states that a raised to the zero power is 1, or a could be any number. Some people have a hard time wrapping their head around that. Here's a way that it can be explained. Using the exponent product rule, which is a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m plus n, let's say n is 0. That would result in a to the m plus 0 which is a to the m power. Divide both sides by a to the power of m, and those terms cancel, and you get a to the 0 power is equal to 1. Now for the logarithm rules. The logarithm product rule states that the log of m times n equals the log of m plus the log of n, assuming the base of all logs are the same base, b. Let m equal 3 and n equal 2. The log of 6 equals the log of 3 plus the log of 2. And there's the numerical solution. The logarithm quotient rule states that the log of m divided by n equals the log of m minus the log of n, assuming the base of all the logs are the same base, b. Let m equal 3 and n equal 2. The log of 1.5 equals the log of 3 minus the log of 2. And there's the numerical solution. The logarithm power rule states that the logarithm of x raised to the power of y is y times the logarithm of x. Let y equal 2. The left side of the log of 10 squared 
which is the log of 10 times 10. Using the logarithmic product rule, this can be stated as the log of 10 plus the log of 10, which is equal to 2 times the log of 10. The decibel was created by Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone. The decibel originates from methods used to quantify signal loss in telegraph and telephone circuits. Until the mid-1920s, the unit for loss was miles of standard cable. MSC corresponded to the loss of power over one mile of standard telephone cable at a frequency of 5,000 radians per second and matched closely to the smallest attenuation detectable to a listener. In 1924, Bell Telephone Laboratories received a favorable response to a new unit definition among members of the International Advisory Committee on Long Distance Telephony in Europe and was replaced with MSC with the transmission unit. TU was defined such that the number of TUs was 10 times the base 10 logarithm of the ratio of measured power to a reference power. The transmission unit was very close to the MSC, which is 10 times the log base 10 of a ratio of powers. The log base 10 of the power ratio was named the Bell after Alexander Graham Bell. Although the base 10 logarithm of the ratio of two power values is the dimensionless quantity, it has the units of Bell in honor of Mr. Bell. From the set of SI prefixes, deci is 0.1. It's amazing to me that's been around since 1795. So a decibel is one tenth of a bell. You must multiply the bell values by 10 just as we would need to multiply a distance by 1,000 if we wanted to use millimeters instead of meters. Then the formula for decibels is 10 times the log base 10 of a ratio of powers. Imagine a system that had a specified power input and a specified power output. Here's a chart of various ratios of power out over power in and their associated decibel values. If we have a decibel value specified, we would often need to solve for the ratio of powers. Move the 10 over to the left side. B to the power of x is the inverse of the log of x, which is the antilog. And we get 10 raised to the dB value over 10 for the ratio of powers. For 20 dB, we get a power ratio of 100. This short example illustrates a very strong property of decibels. Because the dB is a logarithmic unit, the gain of a chain of stages when expressed in dB is simply the sum of the gains of each stage. Here are the power gains or losses of a chain multiplied together, which results in a gain of 1258.5. It's much more simple to just add the decibel values. And here's proof that the log of 1258.5 is 31 dB. Remembering that the decibel is a log of a ratio of powers, how can we use it with voltages? Well, we must make the voltage values proportional to power. Remember Ohm's law, which states that the power is the voltage squared over the resistance. We can replace the values in the log function with this power equation. Cross multiply to get rid of the fraction. The R's cancel, and we get 10 log the ratio of the voltage out squared over the voltage input squared. We can move the exponent 2 outside the parentheses. Then using the logarithm power rule, we can move the 2 over to the front, thus multiplying the 10 by 2, and getting 20 log V out over V in, the decibel formula for voltage. You will often see a log log plot or a transfer function of a circuit. This is a plot of the magnitude of a single pole high pass filter. The x axis is log frequency. The y axis is linear, but since it's decibels, it's logarithmic too. Roll off is 20 dB per decade. So far, we have only used the decibel for relative measurements, like the output power relative to the input power or the output voltage relative to the input voltage. The decibel is also used for absolute measurements. The use of absolute decibels has a fixed reference value in the denominator of the ratio. 
Here's a very common one using a milliwatt as the reference. Note there's a small case M placed after dB. As an example, 1 watt is plus 30 dBm. Another example of an absolute decibel reference is with sound pressure. The reference is the threshold of audibility, which is 20 micropascals. That's the minimum discernible sound for young people. Note the energy in the sound wave is proportional to the square of pressure, so it's 20 log the ratio of the pressure P over the threshold value. Here's a chart of the dBSPL sound levels for various sounds. 140 dB SPL is 10 million times greater pressure than the minimum discernible sound. Yet another example of how logarithmic values are more reasonable to work with. Another application of an absolute decibel is the decibel volt. It has an uppercase V after the dB, and the reference is 1 volt. So 100 millivolts will be minus 20 dBV. Here is a chart I found for various absolute decibel usage and their associated references. One interesting one is dBZ, which is the reflectivity of the return of a weather radar. Here's an example of storms moving across a region with the reflectivity displayed in dBZ. Here is a chart of relative decibel units. DBC is used in RF electronics when a carrier is measured. The DBC level could be specified as a noise floor, as this example of minus 85 decibels relative to the carrier, or minus 85 DBC. It's also used to measure spurs. Thanks for watching. Please click the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content.